Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make an IoT based water level indicator using the Node MCU and Blink app. Here we have used a waterproof ultrasonic sensor to measure the water level but you can use any other ultrasonic sensor and you will get a blink notification whenever the water level drop down below a certain level and this circuit can also control a pump to maintain the water level automatically. Here you can see I have made a complete circuit on the zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout and during the video I have shared the circuit source code so after watching it you can easily make this project. Now before going to the details let me give you a quick demo on this project. First let me turn on the supply and here instead of the pump I have connected this AC lamp for demonstration and here I have used 30 ampere active high relay module. By default the circuit will be in auto mode and the pump is off right now and this is the water level percent and as the node MCU is connected with the Wi-Fi this LED is on so we can also monitor the water level and the mode on the blink app and if you want a buzzer alert then you have to turn on this switch to get the buzzer alert. When the water level is reducing, you can see the percentage on the OLED and when it's dropped down below 10%, you will get a blink notification, low water notification we have received and the pump automatically turn on. Now when the water level will increase slowly, you can see the percentage is increasing and when the tank will full, the pump automatically turn off. Now we will go to the manual mode, for that I have to press this button and currently it is in manual mode we can also see it on the blink app in manual mode i can control this lamp from this button let me turn it off and we can also do it from the blink app let me turn it on now let me turn it off and in manual mode if the water level reduce below 10 percent again you will get a notification on the blink app you see i have received a notification so now if you want you can turn on the pump the pump is on and to go to auto mode you can also use this button if i press this you can see right now it is in auto mode we can also monitor in the oled so this is a very useful project so without any further delay let's get started for this project i have used the altium pcb designer software to draw the circuit then design the pcb altium is the most trusted pcb designer software by all the big electronic companies with Altium, you can easily search any electronics components, compare the datasheet and it has lot of useful features which will save you a lot of time while routing any complex PCBs. With Altium 365, you can easily share the PCB design to your teammates. They will receive a mail with a link where they can open that complete project using a browser and comment their review and correction in that project itself. So it is also a very useful feature. I will highly recommend you to download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from description and use it to design professional PCBs. These are the required components for this project. You can either use a waterproof ultrasonic sensor or AC SR04 ultrasonic sensor. To control the pump, I have used a 5V 30 ampere relay. Now you have to connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. You can download it from the video description. You can directly give AC supply or 5 volt DC supply to the circuit. And here you have to connect a 5 volt active high relay module to control the pump. So the relay will turn on for the high pulse. And here you have to connect the buzzer. But during the booting process of the node MCU, this switch must be turned off. Then here you have to connect the ultrasonic sensor. To make the circuit compact, I have designed a PCB for this project. You can download the GAWA file from the video description. But in this video, we are going to make the complete circuit on the zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. And on the layout, you can see I have mentioned the grid which will help you to make the circuit on the zero PCB. You can also download this layout from the description and print it on a A4 page. Now in this manner place the layout on the PCB and match the grid with the hole on the PCB. Now I will place all the components one by one as mentioned on the layout. After that I will solder all the components on the zero PCB and connect the components as per the circuit. And as you can see, you can easily make the circuit on the zero PCB with the help of this bottom PCB layout. 
Now as you can see our PCB is ready. First I will connect the node MCU. Then let me connect the OLED. Then I will connect this ultrasonic sensor. Now let me connect the node MCU with my laptop to program it. Before programming the node MCU we have to configure the blink cloud for ESP8266. Now I will click on templates. Then click on new template. Give a name for the template. Hardware will be SP8266, connection type will be Wi-Fi, now click on done. After that go to data stream tab, click on new data stream, select virtual pin. With the first data stream, I will monitor the water level in percentage. So I will give the name water level. In the pin, I will select V1, data type will be integer. In the unit, I will select percentage and minimum value will be 0 and maximum value will be 100. Now click on create. Again, I will click on new data stream and select virtual pin. With this, we will monitor the distance between water level and the sensor. Here, I will select the data type as string. Again, I will create another data stream. And with this, we will change the mode to control the pump like in auto mode, manual mode. So, I will give the name mode. In the pin, I will select V3. And here, minimum value will be 0, maximum value will be 1, and default value will be 1. Now click on create. Now in the next data stream, I will control the pump manually. So here I will give the name relay. Then select the V4 virtual pin and minimum value will be 0 and maximum value will be 1 and default value will be 0. Now click on create. Now I will create the last data stream with the virtual pin V5 and here I will give the name buzzer. So with this data stream, we will reset the buzzer from the Blink app. So we have created all the data stream. Now I will go to automation tab and here I will add automation for the water level data stream. So here I will select sensor in the type of automation and I will turn on this to radio button. Now go to web dashboard. Now here drag and drop three switch widget, one level widget and one gauge widget. Now select the data streams for each widget. So our web dashboard is ready. Now I will click on save. Now I have to add the device so I will click here then I will click on new device and select from template here I will select the template ESP8266 water level you can also change the device name I am keeping as it is now click on create now if I go to device info I will get all the details required for coding this is the source code for this project you can download this code from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article, you can find the link in the description, then you can download the code from these buttons. Now let me open this code. For this project, I have used this 3.1.1 version of the ESP8266 board and these are the required libraries and the version. So please install this version only. After that, first you have to enter the Blink details. So I will go to Blink account. And I will just click here to copy all these details. Then here I will paste it. Then here you have to mention the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Now after that you have to update these three variable. In the first variable which is empty tank distance. You have to mention the distance between sensor and the water level when the tank is empty. So first you have to measure the distance in centimeter. Then you have to enter the distance here. Then for the next variable full tank distance, you have to enter the distance between the sensor and the water level when the tank is full and again you have to mention the distance in centimeter. Then in the third variable, you have to enter the trigger percentage. Here I have entered 10% which indicate when the water level drop down below 10%. If the circuit is in auto mode, the pump will automatically start. But if the circuit is in manual mode, then buzzer will start. And you can modify this value as per your requirement like 15%, 20%. But the value should be in percentage. If you refer the same circuit, then after doing these changes, you can directly upload this code to Node MCU. Just go to Tools. Select the board as Node MCU 1.0. Then select proper port. Then hit the upload button. After programming, you can see this blue LED is glowing which indicates the node MCU is connected with the Blink server. So let me quickly configure the mobile dashboard. Let me open the Blink RT app. Then I will tap on this device which you have added. Then I will go to edit mode 
and from this widget box first i will add one gauge widget then i will add one value display widget after that i will add three button widget now first we will place all the widget properly after that first i will tap on the gauge widget and here i will select the data stream water level and i will also increase the front size now let me exit from this widget then i will tap on the level widget and here i will select the data stream distance now i will exit from it then i will tap on the first button widget and here i will select the mode switch then in the data stream i will select mode with v3 virtual pin then in the design i will type here manual so whenever the switch is off it is in manual mode and if the switch is on then it will show auto which indicates the circuit is in auto mode then i will tap on the second button widget and again i will select the mode switch and in the data stream i will select relay with this we will control the pump manually if it is in manual mode then i will tap on the last button widget and here i will select the data stream buzzer with this we will reset the buzzer if required so our mobile dashboard is ready let me exit from the edit mode and we can see the percentage and currently it is in auto mode in my previous video i have already explained how to add automation in the blink iot app you can find the video link in the description now we will connect the relay module and the buzzer with the pcb as per this circuit diagram here you can see i have connected this relay and the buzzer with the pcb and instead of the pump i have connected this ac lamp now let me turn on the supply and if you want buzzer alert then you have to turn on this switch and we can monitor the water level percent and mode on the OLED and blink now when the water level drop down below 10 percent we should get a blink notification and the pump automatically turns on so if you find this video helpful then please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends you can also follow us on instagram and join our telegram channel i will share the link in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more such useful videos thank you for watching have a great day